that ladies are doing this to attract men. I love eating healthy. This year, I drink a lot of my It's one of the most liberating experiences one can have. Hey, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who see me for the first time, I'm Georgia. Around this time of the year, a lot of us would have already made our resolutions, while some of us we try to stay far away from them. Either way, there are some habits that we can still all cultivate that will help to improve the quality of our life as well as the lives of those around us. So in this video, we'll be exploring 22 habits that we can adopt in 2022. Number one, prioritize self-care. Some persons may feel that self-care is selfish, but it is so important to our mental health. Self-care has been clinically proven to eliminate or reduce anxiety and depression. It also assists in managing anger as well as just generally allowing one to experience more energy and feelings of happiness. I actually plan to do a self-care video on this channel by the end of this month or the beginning of next month. So look out for that. Number two, do the things you love. Do you have a hobby? Do you like riding, hiking, reading, making TikToks, <laughs> anything hobby-ish? Do that. Habit number three, stay committed to your goals. Even if your goals are not accomplished in the time that you would have hoped, still commit to them. If it's something that you really desire and something that you were convinced that you, you need to work on, keep at it. Don't be discouraged. Be encouraged. Passion is hard work. Number four, make special time for family and friends. Yes, you're grinding, trying to get those goals, but be sure to set aside time to really connect with the people around you. Number five, sort out your finances. Number six, Find solutions and stop feeling sorry for yourself. Number seven, celebrate more. Celebration encourages us to focus on expressing gratitude, which brings us to another point. Number eight, adopt an attitude of gratitude. Do you know there are actually benefits to being thankful? Practicing gratitude has been proven to improve mental health boost immune system and it also has a positive effect on relationships number nine take time to be still wow this practice is almost countercultural to our society right now because persons are busy most times and even now that we are home it's not like we're home just relaxing we're home working and there's always an activity to be done so, being still is a challenge for the society. Some of the benefits of being still are it brings clarity, it helps with creativity, it allows you to be present, and it also helps you to be more aware of yourself. Number 10. Put down your phone. And that may seem really difficult to do because a lot of us, we work from our phones, we use our phones to study, and the phone has become so important. But we receive so much information from our phones that we need to put it down so that our, bra our brains could get a little rest sometimes. And also, we, we go on social media, from our phones a lot of times and it can be so time consuming so i believe that sometimes we should just put down the phone a little bit and i am protecting myself because i find myself checking my phone a lot so let's try for 2022 to put down our phone a little bit number 11 exercise number 12 eat healthy why? Because being healthy is so important to enjoy in this life that we were blessed with. I recently would have skipped an entire week, I believe, of walking and I saw my mental health 
decline <laughs> so drastically just by that one week that I would have missed. I love eating healthy. This year I drink in water and wine in my bed. I apologize for that. <laughs> Habit number 13 is courtesy Miss Attractive herself. My daughter Hadassah. I don't know if you all saw the short, that's the YouTube short that I would have uploaded. Um, and I I blew a kiss at the end. Well, I, I'll show you. Okay, so that day I was feeling myself, right? I got up early. Um, so the top that I was wearing, it was actually an older dress that I had. And I cut it up. Oh, it's a, sorry. I cut the dress. Wore it as a top. Um, I wore my braids down. I had on a distressed jeans, and this was looking good. Um, well, my daughter had that, so I also thought I was looking good. And she was like, "Mommy, your hair look good. Your your shoe look good. Your pants look good. Your lipstick look good." She say, "But you know, if if you had done your nails, that would have skyrocketed your look." So I said all of that just to say maintain an attractive physical appearance. We all have different styles, but we can all find a way to skyrocket our looks. And I'm not saying that you know you have to have your nails done all the time or anything like that. But maintaining a nice appearance, um, it really helps with how you feel throughout the day, and it really helps with your mental health. And not to spend too much time on this point, but I remember there was once a post circulating on Facebook about, well, they had this, this picture of these um, acrylic nails, right? I think it was a floral pattern. And the caption was, Dear ladies, um, this is not attractive to men. And, and I'm thinking, who is saying that ladies are doing this? To attract men and it's not that you're doing something deliberately to offend or to turn off a man but it could be really exhausting trying to dress to please a man so ladies maintain an attractive physical appearance you'll see what it does for you physically as well as mentally number 14 give um some years ago i would have read a book by michelle singletary the power to prosper and in that book she included a Punjabi proverb and it reads I'll read it from the book so that I don't mess it up it says when a sparrow sips in the river the water doesn't recede giving charity does not deplete wealth and this is so true I see it I see it in the lives of some of my family members that they that give they give and give and give and it's not like they have any less because of how much they give. It's like they have more. It's a law of the universe. If you give, you receive. And it also comes from scripture. Luke 6, 38 says, and I'll read it. It says, give and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full. Press down, shake it together to make room for more. Number 15 is a big one focus on your self-improvement and don't compare yourself to others this is so important social media could do it to you because eh? you will go on social media and you will see people looking like they're living their best lives and you tell yourself what i really do with mine but it's so important not to compare yourself because your journey is unique to you and it's important to remember that we are all at different stages of development and God has different purposes for each of us number 16 be present we've all had those moments where you know we're physically in a space but our minds are not really there so for 2022, let's try to form real connections when we are in the presence of others. Habit number 17. I got this one from another YouTuber, Maya Lee. Recognize coping mechanisms. So how do you deal with stress? How do you deal with feelings of anger? Do you shut yourself in? Do you lash out? 
So it's being self-aware and really recognizing how we respond to different stimuli in our environment and learning healthy practices to cope. Number 18. Forgive quickly. An unforgiving spirit will leave you bitter and it will leave you sick. Sick physically as well as mentally. And you've probably heard this so many times that forgiveness is not so much about the other person as it is about you. You being able to live a free life, one unburdened by resentment and hate and anger towards someone. And the sad thing is that sometimes that someone that we haven't forgiven is ourself. Because of terrible decisions we would have made in the past, we beat ourselves up and, and we feel invaluable and we feel like we are undeserving of love. But you can take comfort in this scripture, Romans 5, 8. It says that while we were still sinners, that Christ died for us. And sometimes it's not even past decisions, you know. It's decisions that we make on a daily basis that we struggle with. Sometimes it's a secret sin. It's also treating those around us unkindly. And we're sometimes so hard on ourselves and we feel so undeserving of grace. But God's grace is sufficient. Number 19. Be teachable. No one person knows everything. You may be an expert in something but a novice in another so it's so important that you know we have an open mind to receiving knowledge from others of course we still have to exercise discernment in what we allow to influence us and it's also important to know that even in our areas of expertise there are still things that we can learn number 20 have respect for yourself number 21 take life in strides trust the process have patience last but in no way least habit number 22 cultivate a personal relationship with God getting to know God for yourself is one of the most liberating experiences one can have in this life and I believe that the best way to get to know him is through his way. So, in 2022, let's spend a little extra time in the word of God so that we can really get to know him even better. So there we have it, 22 habits that we can cultivate in 2022. There are so many good habits that I did not include in this video, but you can drop some of those in the comment section. Again, thank you so much for listening to my videos and you can like it, subscribe and share it with your friends and family. Mm -hmm.